In this video, we're going to talk about Regular Labs Extensions and Joomla 4. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 201 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. This video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you'll get the first month free. Okay, so why am I talking about the Regular Labs Extensions and Joomla 4? Well, Regular Labs Extensions are amongst the favorite extensions, some of them, of uh, all Joomla users. I use a lot on my site. And uh, recently I've been learning the migration process and steps from uh, Joomla 3.10 to Joomla 4. And I had some questions about the Regular Labs extensions and I reached out to Peter Van Westen, who is the owner and programmer of Regular Labs extensions. So I thought it'd be a great topic for today and to help you out. So let's turn your, atten uh, let's turn your attention, let's turn our attention to the screen. All right, quick word about this website. Uh, this is a Joomla site, looks very plain. Uh, it belonged to a friend of mine who uh, was doing some dog breeding, breeding and training. And uh, when she was diagnosed with cancer, had to take a break from that. So just put this message on her page. Sadly, she passed away in August. And so I'm switching her page over to Joomla 4 because one, I want to put an update uh, about her passing and a video to her a memorial service. Um, and uh, because it's so planned, I thought it'd be a really great site for me to practice migrating to Joomla on, uh, to Joomla 4 on. So when we look at the back end of the site here, you'll see I've already gone to um, Joomla update. Over in options, over here, I've switched so that uh, the, uh, the stream that I am showing for Joomla update channel is Joomla next, all right? And so what I'm slowly doing is just going down through this uh, pre-update check to see different things that I can remove. And I'm uns uninstalling from her site because I'm just going to go with very plain Joomla 4 install uh, using the default template Cassiopeia uh, for that. And one of the things that I ran into in this list here was the regular labs extension manager here. Now you'll see here, this is one of the ones that has no information available about it. Regular Labs Extension Manager, it's gone again. Yeah, here it has no information about it. Um, but uh, when I switch over to Live Update, uh, it wasn't showing as one of the things that could cause a problem, but there is something here, the Action Log Regular Labs Extension Manager. So I did what uh, you should do with your Regular Labs extensions if they are not ready yet or you want to see what's ready, go over here to the far right and just click on Regular Labs. And once you're at the Regular Labs site, scroll down, you'll see this orange button, Joomla 4 Plants and Roadmap, and then you will see information about where Joomla, uh, where Regular Labs extensions are um, in the Joomla 4 compatibility department. Now, Peter's got a lot of extensions. It's going to take him a while to get them all programmed up. I've seen online some people complaining uh, how long some extensions are taking to update or some developers are taking. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a programmer, and I just know that the, uh, for programmers like Peter that have a lot of extensions and a lot of extensions with a lot of details, that's why we like them because they do what we want. Uh, it's going to take a long time in order to update them, get them stable without releasing something too soon that breaks things. So uh, don't worry about it. There's already 1,500 um, extensions uh, compatible with Joomla 4 and more will be coming along. But you can read here uh, and see what's already ready for J4. And then you'll see here, released by late 2021, Regular Labs Extension Manager. Now, very interestingly, just from a news perspective uh, about Regular Labs, in Joomla 3, Peter has a, a, um, a Regular Labs e Extension Manager. We've looked at it before on the channel. Let's just look at it here. And uh, he told me when I reached out to him that this is a tool that he has been using for putting in the license for uh, the pro versions of 
his extensions. But in Joomla 4, he's got a new system where when you put the license in one of the extensions, if I understand them correctly, it's just going to look for other regular labs extensions that are in there and it will automatically uh, enter them in the license key area. But he is going to put out an extension manager update. But as we can see from his site, it's not going to happen until uh, late 2021. So let's just see now how to remove these extensions from regular labs. If you go to the extension manager, which we already have open here, you can see what is installed. And uh, so there's cache cleaner. I'm just going to go over here and click uninstall and say start. Okay. I think DB replacer is uh, updated and re replacer is as well and sorcerer. So what's left is to remove the extension manager. So we will go to extensions and we'll go to manage and manage to do that. Now we're going to, we could just search for REG, everything with regular in it and scroll down. Here's the uh, extension manager right here. That's the uh, action log. Let's see if we just remove that by clicking uninstall the manager. I think the regular labs extension manager, yes, the, uh, the log uh, action, the action log will also be removed as well. So uh, I thought that would be helpful to pass along that news and some updates and some tips just about the regular labs extensions. Of course, the, but the principles of that applies to uh, a lot of other Joom extensions that are ready now or aren't ready yet or scheduled to be ready. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel because as I did, I'm discovering things along the way, even just working on this site, extensions that are tricky to know whether to remove or not. Uh, I'm gonna be making videos about all that stuff while I learn and make my, long, uh, make my way along. So please subscribe. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please give the video a like. Like I said, subscribe. And until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites. And God bless.